Okay. So that's part of the issue, which is that a lot of people in tech, this was kind of annoying about the bank thing. They were like, everything's gonna collapse, the economy's gonna collapse if we don't get bailed out. I was like, yeah, but like you actually are, you know, yes, you're 20% of GDP, but startups and all that are way less part of that in terms of tech. And actually, if you did fail, or first of all, if the bank did fail, 90% of your deposits all would have been made whole in the first place. So did Depending it really- Depending on the bank. I think some of those banks had much well, I'm higher- I'm talking about uh, uh, what is yes. Silicon Valley Bank. Signature and SVB. Signature Bank, well, Okay, so SVB specifically, we do know that if the normal FDIC process had gone through, over 90% of deposits would have been made whole. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day. 90% of depositors, yes. not deposits. No, deposits. Deposits, not depositors. Deposits would okay. have been made whole. Because yes. the FDIC backs up to $250,000. Well, no, because what they did instead is they came out and they were like, actually, all Everything. deposits are insured. No, I'm saying yeah. prior to this. Oh, yes, yes, prior to that. that that's right. And hey, So that 90% statistic is yeah. based on yeah. the government prior. bailout. No, no, no. no based no. on the government bailout. No, 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 no. What the normal FDI process process is the FDIC is they come in, they shut down the bank and they sell off the assets of the bank and then use that. It's kind of like what happened with Madoff. Remember like everything that they can claw, the clawback rule. Sure. So that effectively how it would have been done. It would have taken a couple of months and all that for to go sure. about, but they would have gotten their money. 90% of them would have gotten their money based right. on that. But the government so, stepped in. And but the government like, stepped right. in and was like, no, immediately every single one of your deposits is cash flush. And by the way, all of these banks now get access to a special federal reserve fund, and we're gonna completely unilaterally change all of US banking law. Well, this is important. Which is crazy. But this is yeah. important, right? Because yeah. there isn't a bank right now that exists in the world that you can remove all of your assets from at the same time as yes. everybody else who's in the bank. Very true. Right? And I think it's at a 10 to one ratio. So yeah. basically like if you deposit $100,000 in that bank, they only have to keep $10,000 of it in there. What they basically do is go lend out the other 90,000. So fractional reserve banking, right? So what's, what's the problem with a run on the bank is that we all naturally get scared. Like we were texting each other and we're like, yo, is this bank gonna be okay? Is City National gonna right. be okay? Is whatever. Once we start taking our money out and moving, it because the last thing you want is deposit risk. There's so much risk in money in general. The last yes. thing you want is like is your actual cash. The cash, yeah. like <laughs> me, yeah. let me risk it on a stock. Let yeah. me risk it on an investment, right. not just sitting in the fucking bank. Earning 0.08 interest. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so, so I think what they had to do is step in and just so that we would have confidence. If well. we took all of our money out and we just dumped it into JP Morgan and Chase, which are the two that I guess were doing okay. Yes, that's right. But if every regional bank would just collapse. Yeah. So first so of all, you have to, you, you have to acknowledge I, I completely acknowledge it, and mm -hmm. I actually And you agree. have to say, even though you're conservative, the government did a good job. Uh, yeah. Actually, I don't agree with that, because I think the government, <laughs> what it did is actually, this is a leftist point, but I, I agree with it, which is that, think about this, what you just made the case is how banks make money, because they lend out that money. Yeah. Okay, but inherent to that was, you are privatizing the profits, but when shit goes bad and there is a bank run, what did we just do? Actually, all of that money is safe. Yeah. So we guaranteed all the deposits, yeah. which you get to make private profits yes. on. So Jamie Dimon is literally a billionaire, and all of these guys yes. are become billionaires by loaning out our money while by yes. paying, what's our yeah. interest rate in banks? 0.05%, yeah. 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 maybe something like and that. No and, and, and no risk no. to that. Yeah. No, no, literally no risk to that. What you're saying is 100% true. Yes. And it is 100% hypocritical, and it absolutely sucks, and we should, what I think we should do is put all the executives that made those decisions yes. in jail. But I, I think you can't, you can't, you have to punish them. But, Absolutely. but, but, yeah. but, but the concern is if this bank fails and the next bank fails, none of our deposits are secured because eventually you will have a global yeah. economic collapse. So unfortunately, <laughs> the government has to step in and do this incredibly hypocritical thing and to protect everybody's money because it is possible that that would, so my one thing is someone needs to get punished here. Yes. And I think it's the executives at the bank. But it's not only the executives at the bank. And unfortunately they're getting fucking paid out. But now we have not only that, every bank in the country effectively is now deposit insured. So yep. why do any of them get to make profits? Yep. That's bullshit. You don't get to use my money. It's a great business. You do not get to use my money <laughs> yeah. to make profit for yourself. And when you fuck up and fail, Everything is guaranteed by the government. And now they can and be more reckless now. No, no, of course. Not, no, no, like, no. Oh, we good. You, yeah, you 20 guys, to 1. You guys, you guys are 100% right, and yeah. it sucks. But we're not banning it. There's but no the, ban. But the alternative yeah. is letting them fail. And that's and not true. The alternative well, is holding them accountable. Well, how do you hold them accountable? Well, okay, but here's the other thing. Bring them to a grand jury. No, this is, this is, no, this is a good question. How, how, how would you hold them accountable? Like bring them to a grand jury. Oh, so like you're saying what I'm saying is yeah, put them in jail. Yeah, I think so. You got to put those guys in jail. Oh, but the accountability 
the accountability that we're talking about doesn't stop the practice that secured the bank. But the yeah, you can yes. make the bank whole, but yes. still hold people accountable. And, yes. and, and then I do didn't do that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 well, yeah. No, I'm with you 100% on that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you 100%. And I think what will happen after that is that these bankers will realize that there are repercussions for their very dangerous actions. That's the And then deterrent. hopefully other banks will be like, right. okay, we need a little bit more deposits. Yeah. Let's not buy these fucking long term yeah, treasuries seven and one. act like but they're cash because they are. That was the case of 2008. The 2008 case was that. And then it just didn't happen. Like the idea was that we were going to well, bail them out. They wouldn't do it. Again. Yeah, exactly. But, that, but the case was like, no, they're going to learn their lesson. They crash. Like, they will yeah, never learn this. their lesson. They're never going to do it The lesson they learned is we don't get in any trouble. Yeah. They're making more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I guess it's up to us to hold them accountable. I yes. mean, like, real talk, if Trump came out right now and he was like, every exec at those banks that got paid out that right. isn't in jail, when I'm president, right. they're going to be in fucking prison. Yes. The only you issue, though, is I don't clean. think people care that much about SVB. No, they well, don't, but you know what they do care about? They care about somebody fucking over the regular yes. man yes. and then getting millions yes. in the but process. SVB yes. wasn't the regular man. Doesn't it doesn't matter, matter dude. Yeah, like, you can spin it optically, I guess. You can spin but like, it 